G'day Off Trackers, welcome back to another video back at Off Track HQ, which means it's product review time. What are we doing this week, Ash? I thought we were reviewing your modeling career. Oh, shit. Shots fired early, but where's the, where's the swag? I told you to get it organized. I thought you were getting it. Why would I get it? I don't do this. Well, who's getting it? Lloyd. <laughs> Lucky I got it right here. So, hard to believe guys, there is a double swag, double mattress, and two pumps inside this bag. Phenomenal, when it first came, it was a lot smaller than this as well. I've used it now three times. I've done three trips testing it, uh, and it's definitely not packing up as small as when they sent it, but still absolutely tiny. So, as you can see, Sanhema, uh, so this is from Vic Off Road is the website. They've actually been, uh, I'm gonna call it ballsy enough. Do we go with ballsy enough, Ash? I think that's appropriate terminology. So as Lloyd likes to say, I, I do like to burn bridges. Uh, and they've actually sent me a couple of products to do a review on. Completely up to me what I want to say. There is, they have, they haven't literally told me I have to say anything nice. They've just said they're going to send me some stuff. Can I chuck up a review of it? And as you guys know, I'm brutally honest. So I would say they're pretty ballsy sending me a product. Anybody else that wants to send me products, you can reach out on my Instagram. Uh, and have a chat to me, but as I said, I have to be able to retain that I'm allowed to give my own uh, personal opinion of it, because otherwise, what's the point in doing this? So this will be a completely unbiased review of the Sanhema. And oh, I'm getting the wrap up here. Gee, sorry, I'm waffling on. Already. <laughs> so one of the products they sent me was the double air swag, and really the first people to launch it, I think, would have been Dometic but phenomenally overpriced. I'll put up here what theirs is. I think theirs is like 700 odd bucks. This is 500 odd bucks. And I have to say, gobsmacked with the quality. It is really, really good. I will set it all up for you guys, show you how quick it takes to set up. But as you would have seen in one of my other videos, I took it to Double Island and wasn't sure how waterproof it was. A lot of swags, you know, a hit and miss other whether or not they're waterproof in a full on crazy storm overnight with wind really really hard rain not one drop came through onto me completely waterproof the reason it's waterproof is i'm gonna need ash's hand here with the materials so the sand hema is super light it is actually really light compared to your normal canvas swags but it's also made out of a completely different material so what's that material ash it is a 245 gsm PU coated polyester cotton. So when I have it set up, I'll show you the back of it's actually coated to make it waterproof, but it is super thin. So 245 compared to your tra traditional swags are made from a canvas and that's a 425? 420. 420 uh, GSM poly cotton non-rip canvas. Uh, so with your traditional swags, if you're getting one of those, make sure it says coated. If it doesn't say coated, she ain't waterproof. So 23-0, they're new ones. I looked that up, that says it's coated. Uh, where Dashi, they're not saying it's coated. So I'm assuming the Dashi's, you go in the water, you're gonna get wet eventually. So I will open it up, show you what's in here before I set it up. But what I wanna do before that, I've got some more surprises under here. I'll show you the size comparison compared to a swag. So this is just a King Single, my old, King single uh, 23-0 swag. So I want to show, highlight the difference in size. It really is phenomenal how much smaller this is. I want to also point out that the only swag I've been able to find on the market that has a self-inflating mattress is the Kings. So if you're getting a swag like this with just a standard foam mattress, I'm sure we all know they're horrifically uncomfortable. So that means not only you're carrying that, you're also going to be carrying this with it, which is a self-inflating mattress, or if you don't want self-inflating, you want to do a mattress topper, then you're actually going to have another swag bag around the same size with a memory foam mattress topper. As you can see, the size is the biggest winner for it. Ash, we haven't tested it yet in winter, but we're sort of both getting the feeling that because this is almost double the thickness in GSM, 
that in winter you'd probably still want to stick with your canvas swag as this probably wouldn't keep you as warm. Maybe because of the raw proof lining, it'll still keep some heat in, but the cold is definitely gonna penetrate through a lot faster than these, these guys. In summer, obviously it's gonna be a lot more breathable where we get rid of this and go into a tent because it's too hot. But let's open it up now, show you what you get because it is phenomenal what comes included. So weight wise, you're at 19 kilos for one of these, your traditional swags you're at 16 kilos. So a little bit heavier, but there is a lot more in here. So when it came, I did really want to find some negatives. I honestly, I wanted to pick it apart. I thought for the price, there's no way you're going to be getting good quality. Only thing I've been able to find so far is the bag is a bit flimsy, but if you know, to get the price that you're getting, if you're getting a little bit flimsier bag, who cares? The zipper is not a super industrial zipper but the swag itself is really good. So I'm happy to go less quality on that. Break it open. So this is the first bag you get. Everything comes separate. So nothing's gonna be all mixed in. Get a hose for your manual foot pump. As I said, literally everything is in here. Manual foot pump, it takes uh, about 23 pumps, I believe it is, to pump up the swag. So. It's like 30 seconds. You get some poles, so if you want to set one of the openings up as an awning, which is really cool. And they even throw in a 12 volt pump so that you can pump up the airbed, you don't have to do it manually. So with that, it takes, I think it's about sort of two minutes. Then you get, as mentioned, you get an air mattress, double, and then that is literally the size of your double swag. Absolutely mental how small it is. So I'll stop jabbering on. I don't think there's much more for me to point out. And we'll probably do it undercover in case another shower comes through, we can keep filming. But let's get this set up for you guys. I'll get some timers set up, tell you how long it actually took to set it up. Let's get into it. I want to be country over here. <laughs> guys, what do you reckon? Comment mm. below. Dry as a bone look good? I reckon it's a ripper. Nope. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to take anything out of the bag apart from sort of the pump because I don't want to cheat with how long it's going to take. Ash was really smart. She decided she'll do a screen record on her phone so I can chuck it up on here and you guys can actually see it counting up. But I will fast forward it so you're not having to stuff around. So this will literally be from taking it out of the bag and setting up how long it takes. Ready? Quick hint. Hold on. Quick hint. This takes less time to set up than it does for Dylan to explain something simple. You ready? She's really nasty today. Ready, set, go. Done. Two minutes, 27 seconds. So that's not too bad. So I would say, you reckon that's quicker than a traditional swag? Mm, yes. I know it's definitely easier. Like that is 10 times easier to set up. So one thing I'll point out, when we first set up, we noticed it does rock a little bit backwards and forwards. So that was something I was like, oh, it's not as strong as a standard swag. I had it set up exactly like this, not tied down in the storm, and it didn't move around. So that doesn't seem to be a problem at all because you can move it yourself. Doesn't mean the wind is going to, but the first time we took it out, Ash and I used the tie down loop, tied down either side, and it didn't move. You were not able to move it backwards and forwards. It, honestly, guys, it is phenomenal. All the zips are covered, so the water can't get in through the zips. There's even Velcro to keep them closed. I, I cannot tell you 
how gobsmacked I am with this product. I, I honestly thought Sanhima would make rubbish cheap shit. And I can't, I said apart from the bag, I cannot floor it. You get your waterproof on the bottom as well. So that if you get a hell of a lot of water come through, the bottom's not gonna soak up any water. It just really is good quality. So I'll show you now if I can find the zippers, the material. So you obviously get your fly mesh as well, but actually if you come in here, I'm not sure how well the camera will pick it up, but that's actually like a plasticky sort of material that's separate from the cotton on the top. So that way the water cannot penetrate through. Absolutely no way it's getting through there. And for Ash and I both inside, plenty of room, wasn't it? Yep, got to spread out. Yep, it really is. It was plenty of room. We didn't get cold, we didn't get hot. I, I yeah, I don't have a bad thing to say about it. I know I keep saying that, but I'm generally gobsmacked at how cheap these guys make things and how good quality they are. So I'm wondering, is does that mean other companies are ripping us off blind? If this, this company is able to do stuff for almost half the price, don't know. But to me, absolute massive win. Have I missed anything, Ash? Mm, not that I can think of. Yes, you did miss something, Dylan. What was How that? How quickly does the swag deflate? Is that important? Well, I guess so, probably. Yeah, if you're in a rush to leave. Yeah, because I, I guess a lot of sort of stuff, self-inflating mattresses definitely don't let the air out easy. I'll show you this, guys. It is, Ash, if you come around here, it actually deflates really quick. It is loud. So they give you a one-way valve. So if you undo the cover, that's to pump it up. No air is coming out. So you do actually undo the whole valve to get the air out. So here, if you want to do it slowly, you can do that. If you wanted to go out really quick, I'd move that away, Ash. Cover your ears. And down she goes. Literally that quick. And then as you roll it up, the last little bit of air comes out. So super, I would say quicker to pack up than it is to even set up. And the setup is super quick. So I did forget to mention, I saw these when I was packing up. Even the little things they do well. So they don't just give you a shitty standard bent tent peg. Super thick, twist in peg with an actual hook that goes in the ground, really heavy duty. What's another cool feature about it? It actually glows in the dark as well, so you don't trip over it at night time. So just a little thing that I thought they did really well. They could have given you a really nasty peg, but went and give you a really cool glow in the dark. Honestly, guys, it's not much to say about it, but it is a phenomenal product. If you're wanting to give an air, air swag a go, which now having this, there is no way you will ever see me in my 23.0 ever again. Even in winter, if we go camping at and our big winter campers, we'll still be taking this and just a whole bunch of blankets. There's no way I'm going back to a standard swag. They're just a pain in the ass to set up and pack up. Well, they're not, not really a pain in the ass, but compared to this, they're a pain in the ass. But that'll do us, guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe. That way I can keep making this. Honestly, the support I'm getting is phenomenal. I'm now over 100 new subscribers a week, which is mind-blowing i didn't think that the channel would ever take off as quickly as it is it's just growing in massive proportions and if there's a product you want to see comment it below and i'll see if i can get my hands on it and do a review for you because that's what i want this channel to be i want it that i can go and test products for you let you know if they're worthwhile you spending your hard-earned money on this one definitely worthwhile spending your hard-earned on until next time see ya no sign off from you yet ash I thought you were doing Haru or some shit. Goodbye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>